Okay, we're going to go through now this, the logical side. I'll reiterate something I was saying about learning. Uh, to help, to help, we're supposed to help kids become lifelong learners. Um, and the reason I start on learning is because if my learning is in disarray, if my teaching of kids how to learn is in disarray, um, they, they can't access what they were learning when they come to the responding. So I'm trying to have a fairly natural progression of learning skills. I mean, what is learning? If you were in front of me, it wouldn't be a rhetorical question, so I guess I sort of have to answer that for you. Um, is, I cheated again, I looked in a dictionary. And learning, it said, is the acquisition of skills, no, sorry, the acquisition of knowledge, and I'll add understanding, and the acquisition of skills. What Alarm is working with, and you'll see me, is using verbs that help explain or represent learning skills. So, we'll begin with the logical, as I said. All right, every topic or unit or module or whatever you want to call it that you want to teach, every topic can be broken up into parts, in pieces. If it's a, if it's a system, if there are strategies in trying to solve a problem, there could be a number of strategies. Those are the parts. If it's a process, there are steps and stages. All I want to help kids understand this topic to begin with, right from the beginning, is for them to be able to name and define each of the parts, pieces, constituents, elements of the whole topic. Yeah? Once they can do that, once they can see that, then I want them to be able to describe the features, characteristics, of each part and piece. This is why content begins to grow. Because now I have all my parts and pieces, now I gotta know the details about them. Uh, examples <laughs> might be nice. Yeah, so now I begin to see how content begins to grow because I can describe the features, characteristics of each part and piece. Once you can do this. I want them to be able to explain what I call the significance, which is basically the purpose, uh, the function, the role of each feature and or areas. So again, you see content beginning to grow again. Under significance, if it's got a purpose or function, what's it trying to achieve? What's it, what problem is it trying to solve? Um, what is the impact? And again, it, what was the impact? What is the impact? What is the intention? Okay. Of each part or each area? What is it trying to do? What is the impact? Why is it there? Once you can see this, I want them now, I'm just using this word to analyze, which basically means explain the how, the why. How is it going to fix it? How is the strategy going to work? How is it going to achieve the intention, the purpose, the function, the role? Yeah? How does it do that? And with analyze, I'm separating this here a little bit because this is, this is hard up to this area. 
where we begin to, for analyze to become a little bit more difficult, actually a bit more complex, is where we start talking about relationships. How are the parts and pieces related to each other? How are the characteristics related to that? How in a process, what's the relationship between step one and step two? Why doesn't the process stop at step one or two? Why does it go on to three? So we're trying to see this relationship amongst the parts and pieces, the features, characteristics, and the impact they're having. I think if we're, go if we're going to um, see the separation, I'll use that semicolon there, because I think this is where the higher order thinking skills comes in. So many times I know, well, if you're writing an essay, especially in English, you're saying, we want deeper analysis. But we put this down, but we can't, do we define what that means for the kids? Yeah, so if we see that we, there's a little bit of a split here in difficulty in analysis. Yeah, so I'm talking about the relationships now. I now draw a line here. It's really important, this line. I'll, I'll come back many times to it. For the first part, though, what I want you to understand is everything above that line, right across the board, right across the curriculum, including maths, is this is my content. This is my subject matter. I mean, everything, everything we're teaching is content. It's just how do I want to teach it? At this stage, the content can be learned virtually by rote. Okay, when I cross this line, I call it the point of no return <laughs> for a number of reasons. Um, but what is consistent right across the board with every subject is that is my content. That's all the stuff I have to get across to the kids under my topic or my unit.